Hey guys, so today's video, we're going back to the Reddit series. I found <laughs> such a good one. I honestly was got, looking for entitled Karens and then entitled rich teen Karen flipped off the cops came up. We have to watch this video. Officer Eli Burke and Officer Christopher Lug were patrolling the waters in Escambia County when they observed the operator of a pontoon vessel traveling westbound underneath the Bob Sykes Bridge, displaying both of his middle fingers while passing the officers. Look, I know it's not illegal to flip off police officers, but if you're doing something illegal and you bring the attention of police onto you, then you're asking for trouble. Which hurt these officers' feelings, obviously, because they spun around and chased them down. Florida Fish and Wildlife officers have a lot more freedoms than normal cops, which they can conduct whatever they want. One of those being safety inspections, which they can conduct whatever they want. So remember, boys and girls, if you're gonna flick a cop off, don't be actively committing a crime like these knuckleheads. Say. <laughs> Put it in neutral. What was that about? Oops. Flipping us off. You're, you're not in neutral. Put it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Who wants to bet they've been underage drinking? Because they look about 17, 18. And in America, we know you got to be 21 to drink. I'll tell you what, man. If you bring attention to yourself, we'll come figure out what's up. That's all. Literally, why are you committing illegal acts and then being like, I'm going to get the attention of police officers to make the people in my boat think I'm cool or some shit? Like, why are you such a dumbass? Whose boat is this? Uh, it's Freedom Boat Club, but I work for them. Oh, that's taking care of the back. Right, listen, to me, I need listen to me, I need nine live jackets, your registration, a throwable, and a fire extinguisher. I will say, if it's not his boat and it's a boat club's boat, I guarantee all of the stuff probably is already in there because legally they, they can't rent out the boat or anything without having the correct number of life jackets, etc. So. It's a brand new boat, so the fire is good. How old are you, bro? I'm 18. 18? You want to see boater's license? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Who on this boat's over 21? Nobody? Alrighty. Because there's a whole bunch of alcohol in here, I can smell it. I knew it! Called it. Me, there's a natty light can sitting on the ground. You're slurring your words, man. Yeah, so if, I, if, you're, if you haven't drank anything, would you be comfortable on our road doing this? I will say, I've seen some super rude boat cops. Because obviously they can't do the walking in a straight line, obviously, because you're on a boat, which is rocking all over the place. They do a different kind of sobriety test. Which I still think is kind of bullshit. Just do a blood test or do, do like a breathalyzer. I don't understand these field sobriety tests. About on a scale, one being stone cold sober, ten being I'm drunk, where do you fall? He just admitted he's 18 and has been drinking alcohol. You moron. He's already getting arrested. Okay, so you have had alcohol. Yes, sir. So why'd you flip us off? It's a, it's just... a marina thing. You know how it is. Have you ever been in a marina? Yeah, but that calls a lot of attention. It's, it's, yeah, uh, it does. Yeah. Uh, stand up. Turn around. He's going to be placed under arrest for boating under the influence, okay? It's, it's a good time, I get it, but y'all can get a whole bunch of trouble going y'all's way if y'all start getting busted with uh, underage alcohol and stuff, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's generally a misdemeanor, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's still a criminal record. What's sad is, because these are rich kids, they don't know consequences to their actions, so saying, oh, it's a misdemeanor, means nothing to them. Like, their parents will get it scrubbed from their record so it doesn't affect the rest of their life, whereas everyone else, if they do something criminal and actually get charged for it, I say that because the criminal justice system is so screwed up right now. If you get charged with a crime, you go down for it. That's following you for the rest of your life. I say that about rich kids, but actually there has been proven to be a lot more kids of like from 12 to 16 walking around with zombie knives and using them. And because of that, I don't think a lot of even kids who aren't rich realise the consequences of not only taking a life, but having that criminal record of killing someone affect you for the rest of your life. I was actually talking to someone about this recently and I said, I saw something in like a TV show or a movie or something where they did like the scared straight sort of thing where they took the worst offenders of people around that similar age range and they put them in a class and someone who had been rehabilitated from the prison system who used to be a gang member who had you know the the drips on his face to show like the amount of kills he had and all this sort of stuff and he had to 
scare them straight. And he said, like, your, your gang mates and everything, they are not with you when you go to prison. You are on your own. Own. and he had to really tell them what it was going to be like when they went from being outside having the freedoms that they currently have to going to prison and how that will immensely change their life and they chose that path no one forced them down it but rich kids will never know that i'd probably recommend just playing it low key till y'all hit 21 or being a little smarter about what y'all do all right so, something like that where we drive by we're minding our own business we got a guy standing up flipping everybody off Exiting the steering wheel, not driving in the middle of a bridge where you got people coming from left, right, and other traffic and wakes, and he's taking his hands off the steering wheel to go over there. It's nothing to do with this. It's he doesn't want to drive the boat when he's got all y'all on board, all right? The sad thing is, especially if these kids have been drinking, they are not listening to a single word he's saying. Well, they're not hearing a single word he's saying. You no. Know, say this thing caught a wave and it went right in and he's not sitting here to immediately go left, you know? You guys are going to hit the bridge. Everybody in the front of this boat is going to have a bad day. So um, it, it can get real serious, y'all. Look out for yourselves. Um, on the water, stuff turns bad pretty quick. It's pretty unforgiving. See how that kid almost dismissed him by looking the other direction of like, okay, I get it, I've heard enough, and look in the other direction. That's serious, guys, y'all. I probably wouldn't drive if you've been drinking, so I'm not going to go through this with everybody. We got a, we got a ride waiting for us. I think mean, that's a good idea. Yeah. Honestly, they're lucky they didn't get arrested if that he could smell alcohol on the rest of them. I realize, I know you did what you did. You may think that's why we turned around. Um, definitely grabbed our attention, but you stepped up from the steering wheel, walked to the center boat while underway in the middle of a bridge. Nobody's driving the boat. Coming around a corner where there's blind corners both directions where dummies never stop. I, I understand. I'm holding. I'm, I'm good on it. Um, I, I didn't stand away from the boat at all. They saw you. What do you mean? Flipping up cops is a bad idea. That being said, you still have First Amendment protection and these cops pulled over the boat only because their butts were hurt. No, because he literally described at the end and even while he was talking to him, that he stood up and walked slightly away from the steering wheel, which was dangerous because he was coming to a part where there could have been boat traffic from either side. He would have got pulled over even just for that. But like I say, don't bring attention to yourself if you're doing something illegal. Oh my goodness. Karen makes a scandal at the elections. So today is election day in my country for mayor. And of course, you can only vote for mayor in your city. <sighs> Sorry, that just reminded me of when we had the general election in the UK. People were shocked that they weren't allowed to vote in the local election. It, firstly, if they hadn't registered, um, and also if they weren't a citizen. I just got denied to vote. Okay, so hear me out. I come from an EU country, but I'm a UK resident. But I thought that being registered to vote meant you are allowed to vote shoot me if anyone else thinks any different there is a very popular candidate in the city next to mine and for the record is an absolute arsehole but of course no one in my city can vote for him because he's from another city i thought everybody knew that apparently not so today i went to vote it was very quick when i got out i was waiting for my brother to finish voting too but the woman in line in front of my brother was very very angry because she wanted to vote for that one particular candidate and she had no idea that she couldn't vote for him so if you don't understand it voting works the worker was trying to explain that the candidate is from the neighbour city and therefore we can't vote for him here. But she just kept yelling about how unfair it is and how they're trying to silence her. <laughs> she didn't even know who were the candidates for our own city and she took a long while to actually vote, which made my brother wait a long while in line. Oh, and two people in that line were also planning to vote for that guy. Electoral boundaries are notoriously an area of ignorance for voters. Sounds like someone who did not review their voter guide prior to voting. Yeah. And this is why an intelligence test should be required to register to vote. We know in certain countries there is like a cult going on at the moment and it's frightening woman flips out over ketchup that she asked for where's your manager can i speak to your manager i asked for extra ketchup and i bought ketchup. what what is this what is this this is so much ketchup i can't eat that are you making fun of me because i'm on a diet what person goes to wherever the fuck this is it looks like a mcdonald's and says you're making fun of me because I'm on a diet. She literally just slammed like a burger on the counter. Do you know how much fat is in a burger from McDonald's or wherever this is? Oh my 
Oh, I love that. Lower your voice, okay? We love treating Karens like the children that they are. Sounds a little hungry. Maybe she needs the extra ketchup. Yeah, she probably is just hangry. All because she didn't get enough napkins. Did she just say call the police? Because we were sitting here, people. Yeah, please 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 and she left anyway why was that worth it why do people embarrass themselves like that normal day for those poor people this is the thing service workers are seriously just abused at this point it is ridiculous got us the hangry one today boys but finish my sandwich. No, I don't finish because you, you need to respect me. And well, you need to respect your customers. And I will tell them you don't respect your customers. People always demand respect who give the least fucking respect. It is the most frustrating fucking thing. And this is at a subway. Ma'am, this is a Wendy. Would you finish my sandwich? No. Finish my sandwich. Alright, you're gonna be reported, that's for sure. Call your call your supervisor right now. Please call her right now. You wanted to call her a while ago, call her now. I love how she's not giving her any attention. I'd like to talk to her. Yeah, she realised she wasn't going to get the service she wanted, so she fucked off. As she walks out, you see she suddenly remembers the most important point on the current outburst procedure, calling the manager. <laughs> so she had to rush back to do it. The worker handled it so well, I wish more people would realise if you just ignore these people, they're more likely to give up. That's the thing, if you don't give them energy, they don't have any to react to. The entitlement is off the charts. Finish my sandwich. I love how awkward they get when they realise they aren't getting their way. Seriously. Anyway, just a quick one today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like it. I'd really appreciate it. If there's any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment below. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.